Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. And just a few words for those who are attempting to to socialize the antisocial personality and uh, who may or may not know actually what they're dealing with. Okay, uh, this is like a caution. Um, so, as I understand it, the situation with the antisocial personality is that they're dealing with the world from the mental filter of the reptilian brain and the reptilian instincts and responses. And they're looking at a world that's foreign to them because of the fact that other people are walking around with the socialized mental filters that they learn from their parents in early childhood. All right, so, so let's say you're the therapist and you've come across a person who's be behaving somewhat oddly, you can't quite peg it, and you don't know yet that they're an antisocial personality. Okay, so let's say you're approaching the issue from the point of view of, of maternal concern for someone who has not learned all of the childhood lessons. Say they appear to be inordinately shy or somewhat defensive or perhaps prone to bursts of uh, rage and you feel that the proper inculcation of motherly uh, teaching at, at say at adulthood age will do the trick, right? You're the therapist, right? And so you're attempting to teach them over and over again the same lessons that you would have taught your children when they were young. Okay, so, so from the point of view of what your parents taught you, you're looking at this person who never learned the lessons that our parents teach. He's a feral child, a feral child who has reached adulthood. This person has nothing here but reptilian reflexes nothing. He sees you responding to his reptilian impulses in an inexplicable way. He's trying to find a way to dovetail his impulses and reflexes with your socialized impulses and reflexes. He does this by manipulating your suppressed reptilian impulses and reflexes. Because they are unconscious, because they are excluded from your consciousness by your socialized mental filters, you are unaware of what is going on. You have to find a way to ask the kind of questions that he can understand. You have to start by listening in perfect neutrality and stillness to what he says. So when he says something that doesn't fit your notions of how the world is, Ask him leading questions about it. Ask him to explain. Ask him to describe. And, and with each further response that doesn't suit the social norm, ask for further explanation. Don't just smooth it over and say, oh, he's a little bit shy. Oh. He's a little bit temper tantrum guy, you know. Try to find out what's really going on, what the underpinnings are there. Okay. We don't yet have a solution to the to the issue of the genetic suppression of the neocortex that results in antisocial personality syndrome. We don't have that. All we have is the ability to recognize the syndrome and protect society 
from the actions of the antisocial personality, which are totally unpredictable, which often result in, in uh, rape and mayhem and murder and so forth, and re repetitively so. Okay, So your job as a therapist is to uh, single out or identify this syndrome and set it aside from society right now. <laughs>